Hey, what's up everyone? Usually on Tuesdays I have an unboxing to do for a new video game and today there was a new video game that I was going to go and get and then unbox uh, and that game is Starhawk but my Blockbuster didn't get it in so sorry. I mean they're getting it in a couple days but they didn't get it now so I can't unbox it. So what I'm going to do instead is before I went to go and pick it up I went to go see the Avengers again, you know, the Avengers, superheroes, Marvels, you know, Stan Lee's, all that stuff, uh, and I saw it again. Now, if you didn't check my first review out, this isn't a really a new review, it's more like an addition to the first review, but if you haven't seen that first review, go check it out, I'll put the link in the description. It's a couple videos ago, so, whatever. Uh, this video is more about what I thought of it the second time, and also what I thought of the 3D, because this time I went to go see it in 3D, I went to go see it with my family this time, last time I actually went to see it with friends. I know, I went, I went to go see a movie with friends. That's right, that's, a, that's the truth, I'm not lying. Uh, <laughs> and, um... I wanted to talk about what I thought of it the second time, alright? And I'm not going to go through, like, stories, whatever, all that stuff. I'm just going to say it straight up. The Avengers the second time was still absolutely phenomenal. It was such an amazing movie. It really is. This time I actually focused more on the effects, really. This time I wanted to focus more on that because last time I focused more on each character and... You know, their interactions and stuff, and all the dialogue and stuff, and you know, that stayed with me, even with the action. Even though I loved all the action, it was badass, but I still thought about the dialogue, which is fantastic in this movie. Um, I look at the effects, and the effects are so phenomenal in this film. I mean, a movie coming up uh, very soon uh, called Battleship, which is, of course, based on that freaking board game, uh, it looks like shit compared to Avengers, and I don't know what they were thinking of releasing that movie like a, like a week, two weeks after the Avengers. That's not even close to smart. It was dumb, and that movie looks like shit in comparison. I mean, it still looks like a good movie, you know, visually, not anything else, but, uh, um, you know, it... It's just not even close to as good as the Avengers looked. The Avengers looked amazing. It had that really fresh look to it. I don't know why. It's very clean, very stylized, and I loved it. All the characters are still absolutely entertaining to watch. I love all the back and forth between uh, some of the characters like Tony Stark and uh, Captain America Steve Rogers. Um... And the acting is absolutely ph phenomenal. One person I felt didn't have his... Not everybody had like their scene where it was so badass, like everybody was being badass, even Hawkeye and hell, even Iron Man's butler AI program had his moment. But uh in in this movie, I didn't feel like Captain America had his moment. I mean he's still a human. Out of all of everybody else, he's probably the weakest. I mean I know he's the leader, so he like tells everybody, go here, go there. And he's pretty much the reason why they did win, I guess. The, oh, spoiler. Uh they, they win. Um and I guess that's the reason why they did, you know, overcome evil, but I felt like he didn't have his scene. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like he did what everybody else did. I don't know. I, it, it was just a little pet peeve of mine. So it's still a perfect movie. It's still a 10 out of 10. Sorry, it is. But uh, I, I would love to see Chris Evans as Steve Rogers in a new Captain America movie or a new Avengers movie do much more. Like have a really badass scene where he go, comes and like freaking screws up everybody, throws his shield and kills like 40 people at once. Okay? And I just realized I spoiled the movie. So I'm going to put spoilers in the title. Uh, whatever. Um... So yeah, um, and also let me talk about the 3D. The 3D in this film, I wasn't going in expecting much. I was actually about to not see it in 3D. I was so close to just seeing it in, see it in uh, 2D again. But really, the 3D was absolutely phenomenal in this film. I was really surprised because from what I've heard, it was post-converted, and you can't tell because there's a lot of scenes where things are just flying up in your face. Uh, there's a scene where this big worm-like creature comes out. If you saw the trailer or the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this big mechanical worm thing comes out of this big, like, magenta vagina in the sky and uh it just comes out and uh it's badass in 3D. It looks really cool. Um so the 3D in this film is absolutely worth it. If you have a, a theater that's cool and for some reason like mine uh like lowers their ticket price during the weekdays like Monday to Thursday, 
um, then go see it again, go see it in 3D, um, because it's definitely worth it. It's a really, really fun uh, movie in 3D. I never had to, like, adjust my glasses because I was getting a headache like I did with uh, the Pirates movie, the Band of Misfits. Um, so the 3D was fantastic. The movie's still fantastic. Definitely go check it out still. I just want to give my second opinion after watching it a second time. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put spoilers in the title so people don't get spoiled. I mean, they do overcome evil. I mean, really, is that a spoiler? But I get it. Some people will be like, oh, darn, <laughs> you spoiled it. But uh, yeah, anyway, there's my probably overlong uh, discussion, the second viewing of Avengers. But uh, yeah, there you go. Definitely go see it in 3D. So go see it again if you already saw it once in 3D because it's definitely worth it. So anyway, there you go. There's my uh, quick whatever video. Bye. <laughs>